Today's video is about an agentic vibe coding platform called Emergent. And look, I know what you're thinking. Another AI builder, but Emergent is different. They rank number one globally in SWE benchmarks for coding agents twice. They hit 25 million in ARR in just 4.5 months because 2 million people are actually building production apps with it. And it has some interesting features that I have not seen on other AI builders. Today I'm putting Immersion to the test. I'm going to build VidSpark, a full stack monetized SaaS for YouTubers that generates viral scripts and titles using AI. We need login, we need a database, we need payments, and we need it deployed. Thanks to Emergent for partnering me, with me for this video. Let's build. Okay, so when we're using Emergent, we want to make sure we don't over-engineer the first prompt. We just can start with the business goal. So let me paste in the prompt here. So I'm going to start with this prompt. I want to build a SaaS application called VidSpark, and I have the business goal, help YouTubers generate viral, viral videos, titles, descriptions, and scripts based on simple topic input. And we want a modern dark mode landing page, a dashboard where users can input a video topic, results displaying cards. So we, I just asked, please set up the initial project structure. And then a little bit about the implementation. And then I can just start it. And then you can see it just starts building. And we can have the app preview here so we can see what it has built. Okay, so now it's waiting. It's giving me some input. And it's basically asking which direction I want to go. Do I want to React, Fast API, MongoDB, or Next.js and React with a built-in backend? Now, I'm just gonna go with the recommendation. And notice I didn't even really mention databases or APIs, and I'm letting the agent plan the architecture. Uh, Emergent uses a multi-agent framework. One agent plans, another codes, another tests. And I could do auto answer, but I'm just gonna do option one. And it's going to clarify important details. Now, this is something I really like about Emergent because I've used a lot of other code builders and they just kind of go to work. They, they don't really come to you with so many questions. And so it's nice that we can personalize it with these questions. So let's look at this. So which AI integration to use? And it's giving different providers. But one thing cool about Emergent is that we have this option D, the Emergent LM key, which we don't have to put in an API key. So I'm going to do one option D and then for two design preferences, any specific style, I'm just going to say you choose user authentication. Uh, it's giving us the option of either the JWT based custom auth or emergent based Google social login. So this is kind of nice that emergent already can uh, has a way to easily connect with Google. So the Google social login. And then for additional features, we'll just say no for now. And I don't have to answer all of them and it can just figure out. So I'll just continue here. Okay, so now we have the design agent running. Remember I said there's different agents that kind of work together and they're basically different sub agents. So it has the design guidelines and now it's actually starting to create the application. Okay, now we can start to see the app preview. The design looks pretty cool. And it says the back end is running also. And then it's actually verifying the front with a screenshot. Now it's calling the testing agent. The testing agent is running another sub agent that it can use. Okay, agent finished. And if we go scroll up, we can see the progress update that says everything it's done, the features, the tech app testing, fixes, and next steps. So now we have a button for deploy and preview. We can also go into the code mode to see the code. So I'm going to click open browser and then I just have to copy the password. And now we can see all the code. This is right in my browser. See, this is not on in Visual Studio Code, the desktop application. This is a browser application. And we can actually explore all the code that was created. And we can just check it out. But instead of looking through the code, I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to go to the preview mode. I will open a new tab. So one thing nice about this is I get an actual URL that I can use. So it gives us suggestions on what we should do. Click getting started to sign with Google, enter a video topic, and then generate, and then copy the results to create content. So let's 
try it. So I'll click get started, continue with Google, and it's allowing me to sign in like this. Okay, in this case, when I sign in, it does not allow us to create. So I'm just gonna tell it when I sign with Google, the page will not change. I'm still on the first page and I cannot create anything. And it figured out the problem, it looks like. One thing cool about Emergent is that it can t it just tests with screenshots and so it can see if it's actually working. It's asking me to verify again. So I'll refresh and I just logged out just so I can make sure it works from the beginning. So continue with Google and it worked. I got logged in, nice. And so let me zoom in a little bit so we can see this better. Video topic idea, Python tips and tricks, generate content. Okay, so we have the title, uh, unlock the secrets, 10 Python hacks, every coder should know. We got the thumbnail idea, and then we have a script. So what the host is gonna say, the main content. Honestly, I've used many different AI website builders, and I've never used any that make authentication so easy. I can't believe how seamless that was to be able to uh, log in with my Google account and I didn't have to really uh, do that much. And I didn't even give it uh, an LM API key. It has its own, it, it, it used an LM that's just like a built-in key to be able to generate this content. So we could deploy right now, but let's add some additional features. So I say, I need to save user-generated scripts, connect the database to save the user's history and create a history tab in the dashboard where logged in users can see their past generation. Okay, just went through, it created this feature and we have a history tab. So let me generate something. Video topic, how to code a snake game in Python. Okay, we got the title, we got the thumbnail idea, we got the script. So let me try to create, generate another one. Last to leave garage challenge. Okay, so now we can see two different video ideas. We with the title, the thumbnail, the script. Now let's see if we can delete. Does the delete functionality works? And that worked. This just one shot of this. I gave it one prompt and it added this feature, complete with the, the database. Okay, let's add one more feature. Let's monetize this. Create a pro plan, plan page, integrate Stripe. Free users get one generation, pro, limbers, pro, pro users get unlimited, and use test keys. Okay, it's done. So let's just see what it gives us a review of what it did. Let's preview this. So I don't have the pro plan. Let's see if I can uh, do another generate. It says one generation remaining on the free plan. Video topic, top programming framework of 2025. And then we're generating. Now I'll try upgrading to the pro plan. Okay, upgrade to pro. And then I'll just put in some demo data for the card. And let's try paying, welcome to pro. Your payment was successful. You now have unlimited access to VidSpark Pro features. Okay, let me try another video topic here. We'll generate. Okay, let's look, looks good. And I'll see if I can create another one. How to, how to set up home lab. Generating. Okay, nice. And I can see everything in my history. Okay, so Pro works. A Stripe integration works. Okay, now let's just see how easy it is to deploy. I'm gonna click the deploy button here. And now we could just easily start deployment. Now, uh, to fully do it, we're gonna have to upgrade our plan, but you just have to know that basically it gets hosted and you can publicly access it with managed infrastructure, and it's just very simple. Also, we upgrade our plan, we could easily connect to our GitHub, we could save to GitHub. So then we can commit changes throughout the devel app development process. So I just quickly built a monetized SaaS in just a few minutes. It's not a mock-up, it's a business. This is the type of thing you can do with Emergent. Check it out using the link in the description. And remember to use this power for good.